How's it going everyone? So on this video, we're going to be talking about a service bulletin, not to be confused with a recall. So this is just in the event that the customer is experiencing this issue and normal warranty does apply. So if your vehicle's out of warranty and you're experiencing this issue, then you would have to pay out of pocket for this. So uh, the reason I am uh, bringing this up is because I've had multiple people ask me about sticking a steerings on hrv crvs and civics which this does seem to be addressing so the bulletin goes as so the symptom is while driving at highway speeds customers they may find that the steering wheel does not automatically return to the center so for example if you're going around the bend and then you uh, the road straightens out the steering wheel is supposed to naturally kind of go back on its own or without uh, any resistance so uh, customers are complaining that there is some resistance there and uh causing a, a sticky type of a situation so again uh this is for uh 23 to 24 honda hrv 23 to 24 crvs uh both uh you know regular trims and hybrids as well and 22 to 24 civics all of them with the exception of the uh, type r and essentially what we have to do is redistribute re uh, the grease to the warm gear and replace the end cap spring and spring seat and the eps gearbox assembly so uh the gearbox does have to uh, come down uh, from the car so we have to lower the subframe uh, remove the uh, gearbox from the subframe it seems and uh, do all these changes and uh, redistribute that, that grease in there to uh, resolve this uh, steering sticky uh, situation, this sticky steering situation. So if your vehicle was not mentioned, uh, doesn't mean that it can't, it can't have an issue. And if you feel like you do have an issue, obviously go to your local Honda dealer and uh, report the issue that you are feeling. Now, if your vehicle does have, if this fall into this service bulletin, but you're not experiencing the issue, don't go to your dealer, there's no point. They're going to test drive it and make sure that it's actually happening. So, um, you know, just wanted to let you guys know about this since again, a lot of you have reached out to me uh, addressing this concern and it's nice that finally there seems to be a repair and these cars are uh, new enough where 99% of them are going to be covered under this service bulletin if it is applicable and is happening to you. So that being said, I'll catch everyone on the next one.